Let us solve this problem and understand that percent is also kind of proportion. Question is, if 20% of something is 16, then what will be its 25%? Okay. If 20% of something and something we don't know, so we can write down our equation as 20% means 20 out of 100 of means times something we don't know is means equal to 16. So let us find what we don't know. So 20 is like 0.2, right? In any case, we can say this don't know will be 16 times 100 over 20, right? So 100 over 20 is 5. And 5 times 16 is, 6 times 5 is 30, 5 times 1 is 5, and 3 is 8, is 80. So what we know now is at least 20% of what is 16 and that is that something is 80. So 20% of 80 is 16 then what will be 25% of 20. So now it is clear right. So what will be 25% of that. So 25% so we can write 25% as 0.25 also of means times 80 is what. So that becomes the question right. 25% is 1 fourth, half is 40, and half of that is 20. So we get answer as 20, correct? You can use calculator to find the answer. And so our answer is, then 25% of that number is 20, right? So that is the answer. This is one way of doing it. Let me show you another way, and that is kind of proportions. That's very neat. It says, 20% of something is 16, then what will be 25%? Of course, 25% will be more than 16, right? So it should be how much? So it will be in the ratio of 25 to 20. So we'll multiply 16 by 25 and divide by 20 to get our answer. Now what is that equals to? Well, you can divide and then multiply to get the answer and you'll find that your answer is 20. Use calculator, check your answer.